Welcome to Simple Media for Ministry. Do you want to share your spiritual journey on social media? We want to help you spread messages that matter. These videos will help you get started. The focus of this video is the story of how the Lord opened a door for us to launch a media ministry. Prior to COVID, I did my best to avoid social media because I was traveling frequently to countries where religious persecution is high. The lockdown unlocked the key to reaching more people than we ever imagined we could. This is the story of how God took us from having no Facebook followers or YouTube subscribers to being seen on over 100 million devices in four years. Don't let that big number put you off. You don't need a studio to have a media ministry. As you can see, we are making this video in our home. We never imagined the kind of reach our messages would have. Our media ministry grew out of a humble beginning. Start with a smartphone, a sturdy tripod, and a simple wired mic. If you're watching this video, you probably have a smartphone. Some of our most watched videos were created with this simple equipment. A good stand with a swivel or adjustable head can be purchased for about $100. A wired mic with a six foot cable can be purchased for about $35. You can create more than you ever imagined with this simple plan. Our most viral video was made hand holding my phone. A 50 second clip of a swinging pendulum has been seen by over 3 million people. Ask God to show you what to video. Ideas come in a flash. When they do, pick up your phone, hit record. We'll share more about this in future videos. During the early days of the COVID lockdown, Peter felt an urge to make a short video on the power of spiritual dreams, and he asked me to help him. We made a few notes on what each of us would cover, and took the plunge making our first live stream video together. The next week, we made a second video on spiritual dreams. Those two short videos were viewed by over 15,000 people within the first week. The interest that these two videos generated showed us that many people were looking for spiritual content on social media platforms. These videos were made with a smartphone mounted on a tabletop stand. Simple Media for Ministry is our story of how we launched the media ministry we have today. We started making videos on our church's Facebook profile, but quickly realized that we needed to create an organizational page. It's important to know the differences between profiles and pages owned by an individual or organization. We will cover this in the next episode. We watched many YouTube videos and tried to find people who could help us as we began to grow. It seemed that we often struggled to understand the next step we needed to take. It felt like the videos we watched were missing an important step and it wasn't apparent to us. It seemed like one piece of the puzzle was always missing. We will say more about that at the end of this video. We hope this series will make it easier for beginners to overcome these challenges and build an effective media presence. For media creators who are progressing slower than they wish, we pray these videos will help take your media presence to the next level. Before we get into the details of creating a platform, making, loading, and promoting videos, I'd like to take a few moments to talk about why we believe using social media is important. It took me 40 years to visit 70 nations in person. It took just 20 months for our messages to be viewed in 185 nations. I've flown around the world 10 times at significant cost. Our video messages travel around the world in seconds and are watched 24 hours a day. Social media never sleeps. That's not just an expression, it is a powerful reality. 
It does not matter what time of day we check on the messages we receive. There's always someone waiting for us to reply to them. We are being watched openly in nations that are very difficult to visit. In the course of building our media ministry, the Lord gave us three important words to guide us as we began to grow. These words did not come all at once, but rather over time as we needed them, they came to us. First, I clearly heard the Lord tell me to focus on the content of the messages rather than focusing on marketing. The content of the message is always more valuable than marketing the message. Messages that help people discover how beautiful it is to know Jesus are easy to share with friends. Messages that express frustration over social or church problems are less likely to be shared. What I understood from the word that the Lord gave me is that if I would focus on writing meaningful messages, he would put them in front of the people who needed to hear them. While I do believe it is important to make the best possible videos that we can, it is the message that the Lord honors. He will open the hearts of people to listen to what you create. One of the media mentors I follow has a sign in his studio. It goes like this, perfect is never recorded. That is good advice, especially for beginners. Mistakes are made by the most experienced creators as well. Ask God to help you live with your mistakes by posting your video and moving on to the next one. Practice does not necessarily make perfect, but it does improve the quality of videos. The blemishes you see will most likely not be noticed by a majority of your viewers. In a future episode, I will talk about the kinds of mistakes I re-record and the kind of mistakes that I have learned to live with. When we first started, the resources that were available to us were very limited. A time came when it looked like we would need to cut our advertising budget in half. As we spoke with the Lord about it, we heard him say to us, it's not how many people see your videos, but who sees your videos. The Lord has been faithful to the word he gave us. With less money available for advertising, conversations with people grew deeper and more meaningful. Future episodes will cover how to advertise on social media. We usually spend less than half a penny per person we reach. We spend less on advertising annually than we used to spend on a single international trip. Every day, people write to ask how they can take the next step with the Lord. They ask us for a Bible or how to become a follower of Jesus. The Lord has helped us build a team of volunteers who reply to the many messages we receive. Organizational pages on Facebook include access to a back office where automated responses can be created to reply to frequently asked questions. Future episodes will cover how to customize your back office. The third instruction the Lord gave us had to do with understanding important differences between how Facebook and YouTube function. We'll go into detail about the differences between these platforms in the future. Here's a simple way to grasp what the Lord wanted us to understand. Think of Facebook as a fast flowing river with incredible rapids the ride is exciting, but it does not last very long. Think of YouTube as a slow meandering river with people floating on inner tubes and enjoying the scenery passing around them. These two pictures will help you understand the third message the Lord gave us. He said, find people on Facebook, feed them on YouTube. We will unpack more of this powerful sentence in future videos. There are many social media platforms to use. Simple Media for Ministry will focus on using Facebook and YouTube. We recommend starting with Facebook. As your video library grows, you will want to launch a YouTube channel. Earlier, I mentioned that frequently we got stuck setting up a media platform 
because we could not find a button we needed to click that we saw in the video we were watching. Recently, I was discussing this problem with someone trying to build a media ministry. He got so frustrated that he went out and bought a new laptop with all the latest features. While it is good to have the best equipment one can afford, the problem might not just be the computer. Here is a helpful tip. Be sure to check the date when the how-to video you are watching was created. If you're watching a how-to video that's more than a year old, it's very likely that it was built on an older platform that has been updated to a newer version. The button you are looking for may have been moved, changed, or no longer needed in the newer version of Facebook or YouTube. Whenever you can't find a button that you need to use, look for a newer video to watch. We have made it through a learning curve that at times we thought we would never be able to overcome. Sometimes we thought it's not worth it. It's just too frustrating. Be encouraged. You're investing in the medium that God is using to bring in the end time harvest. Social media is easier to use than it appears. The more you use it, the easier it becomes. Take your time with the process. The Apostle John said, I saw another angel flying midair, and he had an eternal gospel to proclaim to the people of the earth. Revelation chapter 14, verse 6. Angels are indeed helping people hear the eternal gospel through many ways, including advanced satellite and global internet connections. It has taken us four years to feel confident enough to be able to create these simple media for ministry videos. The time you invest in learning to use media is not wasted. We have both turned 70 and are having the time of our life sharing the messages we create. Set a start date. One year from today, you will be in awe of how God uses the videos that you create. Ask a friend for help. Ask God for wisdom. If he put it in your heart to build a media ministry, he will help you get through the hurdles that you need to cross. In the notes, you will find links to some videos that helped us create our Facebook and YouTube platforms. While we are not experts on these platforms, we invite you to write to us and we will do our best to help you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you will be notified when we post the next episode of Simple Media for Ministry. Please follow our Facebook page. The link is in the notes. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our story of how God launched us into a media ministry. I want to take a moment and pray for you before we leave you today. Thank you, Lord, for putting it in the hearts of people watching this video to build a platform through which they can share the powerful encounters they have had with you. I ask that you would raise up the resources, patience, time, and mentors who can help those praying with me to launch a media ministry. Help them catch a vision for the day when their videos will be watched around the world. Thank you for Holy Spirit's ability to touch people over great distances. Thank you for your power to heal, to lead, to guide, and to draw people into a relationship with you. Fill each one with Holy Spirit as they follow the right path to create meaningful messages for people to watch.